Now, um, I'm going to show you to create a very simple um, donut application to consume the web service to, uh, for the get um, dog list. Okay, just open your vi um, Visual Studio. I'm using the Visual Studio 2010, but it doesn't matter. Um, just create a new uh, Windows Form application. Um, new project. And then just given choosing the Windows Form application, uh, or a little bit simple one there. And then the project name, I would add the project name as the B1IF. Web service test clan Okay, now I have my Windows Form application. Um, now we are ready to add the reference, the service reference there. Um, I just need to uh, modify the as the B1IF web service um, test clan form. Okay, there. Um, I just would like to have a um, uh, add the reference. Uh, just by right click my project and then add add the service reference and then in the service reference you would uh, we uh, put the WSD or the GS we copied out here to put it, the WSD or the GS here and then I would like to have in the namespace as the V1IF web service test Reference here, and then just click go. And okay, you would pop up the ask you for the username and password um, to connect to the integration framework there. So the username and password would be um, b1i at the mean and b1 at the means password. Once again, okay, now you have me to. Um, at the the service um, there, if you open the um, service here, um, you will see the operation for us. Um, the operation would be the um, get dog list result. Okay, just click OK. And as a result, the web, the B1I web service has been added to my service reference. Okay, let's have a look at the um, our web service um, there. And then the, as you can see, the get dog list type that's the request uh, message type. Uh, response message type as well, and then the um, the service will, um, would be the very long name here. The IPO step and BBIU, this is the long name here. Uh, it's pretty long name. It's a proc client, and then you have a couple of um, you have uh, the operation there. They get a list, and then we are going to call this um, um, web service, and then the call the web service method. They 
and get all this by giving the uh, get all this um, request and then we will get the response for the order document list um, there all right so that's the web service has been, has been added and then let's um, before we do that let's have a look at the um, the app config um, generated by the uh, web service and the project as well Okay, as you can see, the in the app config, uh, we find um, um, service reference um, here as well. Um, the bounding, that's the bounding. And then the we have got two bounding here. Um, And we have a two bounding point here, HTTP and HTTPS um, here as well. All right. So next, I'm going to um, to design my uh, my form to add a button and get the list. When I click the button, I'm invoke uh, my web service method there. Okay, just coming back to my um, form here. I would like to um, add the new button there. And choosing the um, button, I'm going to add a button there. Okay, and then I'll put the button here, and then to have the test as all right. I'm going to replace the uh, the test as. Get dog list there. Get dog list, okay. Okay, um, now I'm going to um, add another um, label. I'm going to add the label, uh, put the label here and put the label name as test as the I would like to display the car code um, here and then I would like to add another text box to display the uh, car code or retrieve it text box All right, and then I would like to put the this one is text box card code, and then this one the bottom design name is btn get dog list. Okay, now I'm going to implement implement the function for get dog list. <coughs> 